Hi, so for a while there, vibration speakers and omnidirectional speakers were immensely popular because they could do things like turn down windows and desktops and any surface into a speaker, and they were really cool. And there was a thing uh, being sold called Paddy Vibe, which I was believe was about 40, 50 pounds, somewhere around about there, which is just a ludicrous price because they're stupidly easy to make. All you really need is a speaker, uh, and you can pick these up for nothing. You get these all over the place. And what you do is remove the rubber. There we go. The bit of paper and this central cone here, and it will reveal the inside, which is like this. Now what we've got there is the diaphragm, which acts like a spring. There's the voice coil, which is the bit that vibrates the cone. And of course we've got the magnet in the housing and the little bit of wires going to the voice coil. Now in order to turn this into an omnidirectional speaker, what we need to do is connect that voice coil to a flat plate. Because our speaker vibrates the cone. You want a flat plate so it'll, the flat plate can sit against the surface and it'll be the surface that gets vibrated. Now I've measured that voice coil and luckily enough it's 20 millimeters, which means I can use a bit of 20 millimeter pipe glued to a bit of Sintra board or builder's board. And I've only glued it on with super glue and all I have to do is feed my bit of pipe into there and glue those on and I have made myself an omnidirectional vibrating speaker for all of, I don't know, penny, so I have no idea how little that cost. It was ridiculous. Certainly wasn't 50 euros. Anyway, let's glue that down and give it a go. Okay, it really is. That's all there is to it. I've got a bit of plastic glued to this. I've got some pipe glued to the plastic. That's glued to the voice coil. So of course the whole thing is held rigid. You wouldn't expect to hear anything. But what happens now is the voice coil actually moves the plastic and the whole body up and down. And this entire thing vibrates. Because it vibrates, it's an omnidirectional vibration speaker. As I say, you can buy those as uh, paddy vibe. They sell them as individual things, and they're around about 40 or 50 quid. And I don't know why you'd pay that, because you can do it with an ordinary scrap speaker and about a penny's worth of materials. Now, because it's vibrating the surface, it's the surface that becomes the speaker. And of course, different surfaces are going to have different results. So let's have a listen to it on the bench top for a second. Oh, just to warn you, we're going to be playing Buddy. <laughs> awesome. Okay, let's try it on a bit of glass. I've got a laptop screen here. You can feel the vibrations in your fingers and I'm sure you can hear the difference in the sound. It's actually much sharper with the glass. Now, the next one I actually got from Tech Ingredients. <laughs> he did this video about, I mean, he's an awesome guy, hey? But it was like half an hour long video to say this and he bought this uh, as a ready-made device and I don't think you need to. You just use an old scrap speaker, as I say. But he said that um, these things, which are acoustic ceiling tiles, are actually really, really good. And of course, if you stick it just there, you've got yourself a flat panel speaker. We're going to put it this way around. Is surprisingly awesome so thank you for that tip so there you go guys super easy to make you want a flat panel on a directional speaker Take an old one, slice out the cones, stick on some plastic, and you're there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and please remember, like and subscribe.